They are tiny, adorable, and huge on the internet. They are called slow lorises, wide-eyed nocturnal primates with millions of YouTube fans. But a tidal wave of demand for the real-life version of the online plaything taking a steep toll. Here's ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman. They are irresistible. Tiny little creatures from the jungle with oh-so-probing eyes. They look like a furry cartoon character, don't they? Few had ever heard of the slow loris <laughs> until it became an internet sensation on YouTube, making millions of people smile. This is the first time I've ever seen a loris. Oh. So what are they? We met with one of the world's only slow loris experts, Dr. Anna Nakaris, at one of the few zoos that keeps lorises the Paynton Zoo in southwest England. This is a pygmy, slow loris. This is a species that's found in Indochina. It's the smallest slow loris, but with, for one. With the biggest eyes I've ever seen on yeah. a little creature. It's nocturnal, so it needs big eyes to see in the dark. And it's shy at the moment. And you don't want me to say that this is a super cute animal, do you? Well, it obviously is very cute, and being cute is its downfall. Stick with us, we'll explain. BBC and Animal Planet followed the elusive, obscure creatures into the jungles of Indonesia with Dr. Nakaris as she studied them. They're not so cuddly in the wild. In fact, they're the only mammal on Earth with a venomous bite. Dr. Nakaris learned that the hard way when one bit her. And it's not a pleasant experience because like a snake, uh, it can decay and fester and the wound takes quite a long time to heal. It hurts. And it throbs. It can throb for days and days. And they can bite straight through your fingernail and into the bone. Villagers say a loris bite can kill. If he was to go into his defensive posture, he would raise his arms above his head and really squeeze them tightly. And this would be when he would be putting his a little oil from his armpits into his mouth, mixing it with saliva to deliver a venomous bite. And this growl that mimics a cobra. Hello. It's all right. Dr. Nakaris is working to understand why the loris has its lethal venom. But her research is revealing something even more threatening. Lorises are rapidly disappearing from the jungles. Those YouTube videos are part of the problem. They have become coveted pets, especially in Japan, Russia, and the Persian Gulf. Dr. Nakaris is finding fewer of them in the jungle, but they're easy to find in the illegal animal markets of Asia. Their venomous teeth removed with nail clippers. They sell for about $25. Smuggled out of the country, though, they are worth thousands. Are they endangered? They're all endangered, yes. All, all the 10 species of slow loris are endangered. It's the illegal trade is the number one threat. The world was a safer place for these animals when the world beyond the jungle didn't know that the oh-so-lovable loris existed. I'm Jeffrey Kaufman for Nightline in Paynton, England.